two. <laughs> We're here at the new Islip KISP from Vertical Simulations. Thank you, Vertical Simulations, for this wonderful product. Do appreciate it. Thanks for the audio feedback. Uh, yeah, I'm on a motorcycle. And I decided, why not, right? Uh, we'll, we'll first do, a, you know, the ground tour. And then, uh, and then we'll do an air tour of, of some sort. Johnny Knievel, yeah. It gives a little bit of a different perspective. So, gets us to see the uh, sun reflection off of the ramp, of course. And we get to drive underneath the uh, jetways. Duck, 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 goose. Use the brakes. Some nice Southwest uh, trucks, tow trucks, uh, GPUs. The paint looks great. We got uh, auto gate going on. Beautiful GPU there. Never saw a bike before. Um, this is from X Plane 10, and it. Um, uh, I'll grab a link. I'll grab a link to it in just a second. That's a good static looking aircraft. I do like that. I'll change the time of day here in just a moment. Flight mode still works. Uh, I don't think this one will take off. I think it will do a wheelie, though. I do like the vehicles out here. Jetways look great. Just one second. One second. Oh yeah, I like that terminal look there. Some baggage handling. I think eventually that guy's gonna be Brad. I seem to recall that that happening. We got some frontier swag going on here. I think I have live traffic loaded, but I'm not sure if there's much traffic at Islip this morning. The cars look good. Parking garage, nice chain link fence. Let's go check out the uh, GA side here. Fuel trucks. Uh, D ice truck. Av fuel. Shelt air. That's pretty cool. They have the frequency up on the side of the building 129.77.
Good morning, Iowa Scotsman. Crash a distal. Good morning. Vertical Simulations is here in the house. Vertical Simulations, welcome. I was just showing off the reflection off of the uh, the ramp here. What is the EFI that's off the ground over here? What's that on? What's that? There's a fire truck. Yeah, thank you for letting me show her off. Do I have a uh, some sort of issue with the floating EFI, possibly? Maybe. Any ramps models we can jump? <laughs> I'm going to change the time of day here a little bit. There we go. Let's take a look at the uh, vegetation and the runway for a moment. Love the pavement. Love the taxiway. All right, you got runway 28 and runway 10. Got the windsock. Let's check out the. Uh... Yeah, whoa. Woo. Let's see how fast we can get going on this bad boy. I wonder if I have a uh, ortho issue here. There we go. There's runway three. Three, three. Whew. Spin out. There we go. Runway three, three. Or sorry. Yeah, three, three. V1, there is no V1 in this, apparently. Hit the jump key. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh, pulling a wheelie down the runway 33. Three. Oh, oh, snack. Oh, snack. Oh, snack. Oh, this reminds me of one of my uh, Challenger takeoffs. Experimental flight model on. <sighs> Handles as well as the TV. <laughs> There's Hawthorne. To prove his tire physics are as real as you can get. Yeah, there you go. Hey. We got a subscribe. <coughs> Excuse me, Nurgle with the subscribe. Good morning. <clears throat> Nurgle, thank you. Can I go into the Hawthorne building? Or is that just a picture? Looks really good. I don't think I can go in there. Nope. Wings and Wheels. Global Aviation. I like it. There's another frequency displayed. I love Child with the Super Cup. <laughs> <laughs> that couldn't walk yet. Another hangar. Try 
try to stay on this taxiway here. I see a what looks like a citation and a vision jet over there. Hey, we finally got some live traffic, so one aircraft has been created. So that's good. There's a vision jet over there. So there's New York Jet 123.5. And remind me, what is AASF? There's New York Jet. So windsock down there. New York Jet. Is that like a one-off uh, FBO? Ah, there's New York Air National Guard. Got some choppers back there. <clears throat> This URL not found. Good morning. Yeah. Ah, there's some. Is that are those Blackhawks? Or Hueys? I really need to scale back on hanging out with coworkers. <laughs> Fifteen hundred. Too much Jameson and Hennessy. Oh, I hear you. All right, back to the terminal. And then I think we'll do an aerial tour here in just a moment. Behind the scenes. I think Kino is one of the most boring games on the planet. But it's a good win. All right, over here to. I wonder if. Yeah, we. Whoa. Almost fell off my bike. Okay, so there is a. A. a Oh, that's yeah, that's a Frontier. It says A20N on the aircraft type. Uh-oh. I'm going to slip through this little hole in the fence. So there's an air... Uh, it says A20N. Frontier flight coming in. Huh. Let's check out the front of the airport here. Got the flag flying over there. Homie Live US, how are you doing? You're in and out of ISP a lot in the in the real world. Four oh four, you got the airport, nice. Yeah, I I pointed um I actually pointed one of our FBOs to Islip. So Lincoln Park. Oh, that would have been bad. Uh, Lincoln Park is actually connected to uh, Islip um, on, for the Snack Air Network. I went there today to look for a FSE job. 
but no, no such luck. All of them were taken. We have gourmet brisket that we ship from Lincoln Park over to Islip. So. Oh, that hurt. Okay. All right. So, grab, let's just grab a, should I grab a, maybe I'll grab the Robison. No, the uh, Gimbal. Is it called the Gimbal? This thing doesn't fly as well as the uh, 429, but. Spaceman going well. How are you? Mamba, Gator Gaming, good day. I also noticed that uh, there's flights out of here to Baltimore. So we could actually fly, we could actually fly the um, <clears throat> to the two new airports. Uh, I got it. I got it. It's an X Plane 10 model. The, the bike is. Um, in fact, let me just see if I can grab it here. Yeah, it's right there. You can, I guess you can also download a, a track that you can do jumps on. <clears throat> Off sked, can you go into the terminal and see if there's a good pizza place in there? There probably is some good pizza. I think it's supposed to remedy a game that's on an iPhone, iPad, console called uh, Trial B2, I think. How you doing, Offsked? How was your BWI ATL Boston action? ISP is a, has a place that sells fantastic pies. Just wondering if it's modeled. Uh, Vertical Simulations is here in the chat. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything inside the terminal, to be honest. I haven't looked in there yet. But I would like to try this so-called pizza. But I better uh, have a probiotic before I do so. This looks good. Uneventful, the best kind of flight. There you go. Did you have any cool first officers? Some are better than others, I'm sure. They're all good, though. Your hometown airport? Hey, Ray. Yeah. I've never been here before. I must make my way here. See if they have the A all ATP school flight model just north of the tower. Okay. Did 
trees look great. I, I, <clears throat> I was wondering, DS Joel, if uh, if it's possible to port a plane by the end of the year if you haven't already started and have you and they didn't use the language they've already started so i was curious about the uh, it would be great and and i think everyone would prefer well i i i don't necessarily as much as I love the NGX, I really would like the 777 or the 7. I don't know. What do you guys want? If PMDG were to port to X-Plane, would you prefer the 777 or the se the Queen? The 74. All right. So just north of the tower, I think you said. Did it did a nice job of the airport layout? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. 100% 777. Thank you. I think I think I agree with you there. Would you agree with that over the uh, NGX, Dogo and 404? Seven threes. We need heavy metal. Yeah, we need we need a long haul. And I I pref yeah I think the triple seven is the way I would go. So they're probably thinking that same way. Although they did surprise us with the DC six on X plane. So maybe maybe they'll just go ahead and say no. Nah, we're just gonna put out the uh, the junkers. Don't they have a junkers? That's not an airliner though. Yeah, right, here's to hoping that it's the triple seven. Although, isn't uh, aren't uh, Flight Factor supposed to be doing a triple um, seven update? And I guess there's also a seven four seven update happening. There's a train over there. That's kind of cool. All right, let's try some night lighting. You feel it's a 7-4? Possible. Some nice runway lighting here. I wish that uh, blue light wasn't on. I wonder if I can turn that reflection off in my uh, in my heli. How far does ISP scenery extend out? Um, I don't know. Probably during the daytime if I if I go up high we'll be able to see the line. Uh, I'll do that after a little night tour here. Got into an airport lighting battle with the GA aircraft with AJ GA aircraft. Uh. Oh, that's wh oh, where you were tur turning on and off the runway lights with your tra uh, clicking the microphone. <laughs> that's funny. 
the small plane turning off the lights, you turning them on, them turning them back off, or vice versa. See how far the board comes out here. Okay, so if I pause that, detach, and then go straight up. Okay, so it looks to me like it's really the airport boundary uh, is the line between my my ortho and the planes, or the airport's mesh. Yeah. Definitely a different, uh, different time of season. So it looks like the buildings out here are modeled as well. So we can go out along the border. mesh there and I assume that that's a closed runway now that one there that's my assumption anyway okay Oh, and KCID, KCRP, and PVD are all on sale. Very nice. Wonder what ortho searches matches the airport. Yeah, I think he purchased the ortho. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know who from. Oh, some trees through the through the building there. Tower was closed. Boston cleared us visual. We were to the south, so we had to turn the lights on full bright to see the landing runway. They are directional, so not apparent from 90 degrees. Uh, seconds later, the lights went off. We clicked them on full bright, only to have them go off again second later. So on the third bright attempt, a voice comes on the radio and says, Really? Boston was listening and chewed out the GA guy, saying we needed to see the lights. So how did Boston know that the lights were off? Or that Boston didn't know the lights were off. They just heard the radio chatter, huh? That's, that's funny. Mostly Bing. I'll eventually buy Ortho for ISP with a green shade. There we go. Hey, we got a sub -crib. We got a gifted tier one sub to Vertical Simulations, the developer of this airport. Andrew, thank we you. We got a sub crowd. Thank you, Vertical, and thank you, 404. That's 63 uh, gifted we got subs a sub on the John Fly channel. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Let's see if we can go. I wonder if I can land near these, these bad boys. Where's the Easter eggs, by the way? There's supposed to be a GSA, a John Fly, a Brad M. I mean, where are the Easter eggs? I think 
I'm getting better with helis overall. I wonder if I could land at that uh, that little landing pitch uh, uh, place up there at Quadum River now. Oh, you have to call them after to close your flight? Yeah, that makes sense. It's pretty good. Dig it. I need a good uh, picture. There we go. Maybe this way. Yeah, there we go. Let's do a print screen. Actually, I wonder if I wonder if Shift Space does a better picture than print screen. We'll find out. Do I have double scenery? Do I? What makes you think so? Crow Adler, good morning. They the helicopters are a great way to kind of do it slow. Yeah. Did you see the motorcycle that we were driving around? <laughs> 